Hello dear students, uh, in this video I am going to discuss uh, the interaction between client and server for uh, HTTP streaming. Uh, this uh, figure illustrates uh, the interaction between client and server. Uh, this is the server, server side and uh, this is the client side. At the server side, this side here. The portion of the video file uh, in white uh, has already been sent into the uh, server socket. So, this portion, this white portion, uh, this is uh, nothing but uh, the video file uh, that has uh, which has already been sent to uh, the server socket. While uh, darkened uh, portion, this darkened portion uh, is what remaining to be sent. Okay. After uh, passing through the socket door, the bytes are placed in the TCP uh, send buffer before being transmitted into the internet. This is the TCP send buffer okay. here uh, because the tcp send buffer is shown to be full see here. Uh, the server is momentarily prevented from sending more bytes from the uh, video file into the socket on the client side this side this is the client side the client application that is media player reads uh, bytes from the uh, TCP receive buffer. Uh, this is the TCP receive buffer and this one is the uh, TCP application buffer. The client application uh, reads bytes from the TCP receive buffer. Through this uh, receive buffer uh, through uh, its client socket and uh, uh, places the bytes into the client application buffer. This is the client application buffer. At the same time, the client uh, application uh, periodically grabs video frames from the client application buffer, from this client application buffer, and decompresses uh, the frames and display them onto the user's screen. Okay. So now consider a situation uh, where the user pauses the video during the uh, streaming process. Let us see what happens here. Uh, during uh, the pause period, bits are not uh, removed from the client application buffer. Bits are not uh, removed from the client application buffer. Okay. Even though bits continue to enter the buffer from the server. If the client application buffer is finite, this client application buffer is finite, uh, it may eventually become full, while uh, which will cause back pressure, which will cause back pressure all the way back to the server. Okay. Specifically, once the client application buffer becomes full, this uh, client application buffer become full, bytes can no longer uh, be removed from the client TCP receive buffer. Uh, so, it is, uh, so it too becomes full. Once the client receive uh, TCP buffer become full, this one client uh, TCP receive buffer uh, becomes full, bytes can no longer be removed from the uh, TCP send buffer, so it uh, also become full. Once the TCP send buffer become full, becomes full, the server cannot send any more bytes into the socket. Thus, if the user pauses the video, the server may be forced to stop transmitting, in which case the server will be blocked until the user resumes the video. Okay. And uh, even during a regular playback, 
that is uh, without pausing uh, if the client application buffer become full back pressure will cause the tcp buffer to become full uh, which will force the server to reduce its rate to determine the resulting rate uh, when the client application uh, removes f bits uh, it creates a room for f bits in the client application buffer which in turn uh, allows uh, the server to send f additional bits thus the server send rate can be no longer than the video consumption rate at the client therefore a full client application buffer indirectly imposes a limit on the rate that a video can be sent from a uh, server to client when streaming over http thank you